There is a two minutes videotape <laughs> which someone made. Someone looked at all the dotted lines that I ever drew in 801 <laughs> and put that in one videotape. <laughs> it's a riot. It's, you see, brr, 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 Okay, we have time for a few more questions. Yeah, Anna. What? Anna, please use the microphone, although I'm so close to you that I can probably understand you. <laughs> Anna is my Facebook friend. I have an art quiz on Facebook to twice a week. And then my Facebook friends who can answer the questions are always mentioned every day that they have the answer right. Anna is at at or near the top, she almost always has it right, and she sometimes writes me email, and she says, Walter, I've worked eight hours on this one, I really have to give up. I don't have more time. Go good. ahead. What is your favorite lecture of all the lectures that you've given? Like, you've done, how you do I don't have a favorite one. No, I really don't. I love all the subjects, 801 or 802 or 803. No, I really cannot say I have a favorite. If you ask me my favorite artist, we can talk about that. <laughs> but we do that on Facebook. <laughs> there is a question here and there's one there. Oh, we have still five minutes for questions. Could you talk about your... Um, Where are we, Claire? Who has the microphone? Hello. Do I need to turn... It's on. I'm wondering how rainbows relate to ray scattering, do they? And how rainbows what? Do rainbows have anything to do with ray scattering and also why are they round? By my book. It's explained in my book. Uh, hi, uh, how do you prepare your lectures? How, how many time do you take to prepare? It's a very good question. And if I tell you how I prepare them, then my colleagues at MIT are going to hate me. <laughs> On average, the preparation for one lecture is about 40 to 60 hours. Wow. I dry run the lecture in an empty classroom with everything on the blackboard that I'm going to write on the blackboard, pretending that there is a full class in front of me, but there is no one, as if there is one. I do that two weeks before the lecture. In general, the lecture is then a little bit too long, so I have to do some surgery. Then one week before the lecture, I dry run again. Then I'm very close to the time. And then 5 a.m., of the morning of the lecture, you can ask my wife, I am at MIT and I give the same lecture dry run for an empty classroom at 5.30 in the morning when the lecture is at 10 and the same lecture is at 11. That's the way I prepare. Don't tell my colleagues, they will hate me. <laughs> By the way, I made an exception for this lecture. I dry run this lecture six times. <laughs> yeah? I wanted to know, oh, hi. <laughs> um, what advice do you have for a student wanting to become a physicist? What do you have what? What advice do you have for students who want to be a physicist? You have to love it. <laughs> and if you don't love it, don't touch it. <laughs> and if you hate it, it is because you had a very bad teacher. <laughs> I make every student, and not only at MIT, but all over the world, I make them love physics. You can read that in my book, you should buy it. <laughs> one more question. Okay, one more question. Yeah, this gentleman here. What do you do for fun besides give lectures? Art. Art history. It's my love. Physics is my life. Art history is my love. Thank you.
So the book signing will start. You can buy books. You can buy books in the hall and you can come down. Now I have one request. Put in the book a piece of paper and write down with very clear letters to whom I address that book. So if it is for your daughter and her daughter is Emily, you write for Emily. Even though your name may be Peter, I will write in the book for Emily and sign Walter Lewin. If you don't put in a piece of paper, it's going to take so long. A few days ago, I had a book signing and I didn't ask them for a piece of paper. So here comes someone from Turkey to me and, he, and I said, what is your name? And he said, my name is Atachia. And then I said, how do you spell that? He says, oh, that's very easy. It's A-T-I-T-T-T-A. <laughs> and then I said, well, it would be better, wouldn't it, if you write it on a piece of paper? And I couldn't even read it. <laughs> so please read very caref uh, write very carefully the name to whom I should address the book. We need a table.